Finally, finally, we have the road ahead post. Oh my goodness. I got home today and from work and I thought this post has got to be going up any second now and I've been waiting for it to go live. Normally, we'll have at least some indication, but like you guys know, things are a bit slowed down on the Game Changers program right now. And so I actually asked my Discord server, hey, can somebody let me know when this post goes up so I can make a video about it? I have not read this yet. I am going to be reacting very live. This is going to be my first genuine response to it along with some of you guys. So by the time some of you watch this, you might know more than I do at this very moment in time. But I'm, see I'm seeing some things here right now that are kind of making my eyeballs pop. So let's get into this. CG Carry. Hello, Holla Table Heroes. You've been asking where is the road ahead. Nobody has been asking uh, where that is. And finally, it's here. So yes, here we go. New feature, the Grand Arena. New game mode? Mm, like it. This big feature announcement to round out the year, the Grand Arena. Currently, you can be the best player in your server and dominate the PvP arena. Or you can be part of the best guild and defeat other guilds in Territory Wars. However, when we look forward at what we'd like this game or what we'd like this game to be in the future, a big part of our vision is to answer questions like who is the greatest player in all of Star Wars TM? Galaxy of Heroes. <laughs> I like that TM there. Who is the greatest player in all of the galaxy? Not me. So that, that doesn't make me super excited because this is, the answer is not Cubs Van Han. <laughs> um, while we are still a few steps away from that feature, we are excited to announce the first step in that vision, which begins with the opportunity to play PvP across all servers. That's big news. Here's a little bit about what you could expect in the Grand Arena. At the beginning of the Grand Arena event, you'll be matched with seven other players. Okay, so it's an event. It's not like a, a new game. It's kind of like Territory Wars, maybe, where it's just a recurring event. You'll be matched with seven other players from across the game who have galactic powers similar to your own. Okay, I like that. In the first round, you'll be matched up against a random player from your group to essentially fight a mini Territory War. All right, you'll set up defenses to defend your own territory. Okay, so it's like an individual territory war. That's cool. Uh, to defend your own territories as well as attack your opponent's territories and attempt to overcome their defenses. You'll earn banners for successfully attacking and defeating an opponent's territory as well as defending your own territory. At the end of the battle, whoever has earned the most banners will be the winner. So individual territory wars. I like it. Each round, you'll be matched with other players who have the same win-loss record as you. That's, I'm glad that they factor that in. And you'll, ne you'll never fight the same opponent twice in the Grand Arena. You'll earn special rewards for each offensive battle you complete at the end of each of the three rounds and a final set of rewards at the end of the event based on your standing in an eight-player group. Interesting. I So basically, you're going to be... It, so it's going to be eight... In this grand arena, we'll be paired with one. We do kind of a round robin, so maybe it rewards for each round. And so three rounds, so you'll fight three of them. Okay, interesting. I'm intrigued by this. I want to see more. Um, while we hope you're excited to have the opportunity to show your expertise in the grand arena and look forward to sharing more details and the release schedule in the coming weeks, for your convenience, we'll track all communication about the Grand Arena here in the Grand Arena Mega Thread. So go to the th forums if you want to discuss or come to my Discord server. We'll discuss there too. New feature. Okay, here we go. Player controlled payout slash time zone changes. Okay. The single... I'm nervous about this. The single most common quality of life request we've heard in recent months is to allow player controlled payout slash time zone changes. Like the server sharding system, this was a feature that worked for a time, but we recognize you live across the world, lead complicated lives, and that the 4, 6 p.m. in the time zone you originally logged on has been a great inconvenience for many. To help this, we have introduced the ability to change payouts up to two times a year. The ability will be otherwise unbounded, so watch out for all you so watch out all you Alaska and Greenland. There's probably hordes of people coming for your time zone. <laughs> In conjunction with Shardless 1 1v1 PvP, this begins to uh, let's see, this begins to give you all opportunities to explore competition outside your shards, and we are excited about that. So my my immediate question with this 
is how are you going to change the time? Is it going to be like a customer support thing or am I going to be able to end the game just say, no, I'm going to be this time. Um, if so, that could really change the dynamic of shard coordination, maybe spread things out. So you've got one payout that's overloaded with eight people, spread them out a little bit. That could really, really make shard payouts interesting. So, okay, I think that sounds positive. I'm a little apprehensive. We'll see how it actually plays out. Uh, one thing that I'll say about that right away is the last thing I want to do is contact customer support to change my payout time. So I'd probably just stay where I'm at if I have to do it that way. But if there's a way to do it in game, maybe a little more interesting. All right, new content, KOTOR Companions. With the release of Jedi Knight Revan, we brought one of the most requested characters in Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. Yes, you did. Um, the excitement in the community has been palpable for weeks. And watching many of you join forces to solve the reveal cipher was truly a special moment for the ga game team to watch. I wonder where they watched that happen. <laughs> um, we're excited to continue the celebration of the 15th anniversary of Knights of the Old Republic with additional companions in the coming weeks. Keep an eye out for an upcoming announcement of which Old Republic era characters will be coming to the Hollow Table next. I'm going to tell you right now, if that ends up being five dark side KOTOR uh, characters, it pretty much will confirm in my mind that Darth Revan is coming. And if that happens, I'm, I don't know, if we're, if we're going to do Revan 2.0 this fast, I, I, might, I might not be super stoked about that because we just had a huge paywall character hit. Um, we'll see. We'll see what that is. I'm apprehensive about this. New content, original trilogy. All right. To round out the year, we're going to continue our exploration of the original trilogy universe. While we've dipped into this era previously, there are still many iconic characters and ships that we want to bring to the game from this period. Characters and ships. <clears throat> OT Falcon! You can definitely count on some teases and puzzles from Crumb coming in the coming months. Stay tuned. Interesting. Okay, so they're they're giving us a lot of teasing here. Nothing really concrete except for the I mean even the the grand arena That's a big tidbit of information. Not a whole lot of uh, we, we don't see any visuals here um, Third anniversary of Swaga. How about that? Who's been playing for three years? I have very nearly let me know in the comments below if you are a three-year player I can't believe that we have been doing this for three years my friends at last but certainly not least a special note from CG carry quote Three years ago, we started on an amazing journey that, thanks to you, continues to this day. We are incredibly grateful to all of you for continuing to be members of the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes community. We've always thought of you guys like a massively multiplayer online community, and we want to honor the investment you've continued to make in-game with Chewy Shards! Just kidding, it doesn't say that. We have some gifts and events planned for everyone to celebrate with us. We'll share more details closer to the start of the event. Fantastic. I look forward to the next three years. I like that. Three more years of Swaga. Let's do it. Um, we have all, or we have to tell and continue to unfold. But more importantly, please know that the things you all do within the game continue to astound and impress us. Oh, we hope that you've enjoyed this peek into the future of Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. All right. So some takeaways from this. Um, some stuff I'm excited about, some stuff I'm apprehensive about. I am the most excited about what this Grand Arena is going to be. That sounds really cool to me. I, I don't know how this is actually going to play out. But to me, I, I'm curious. It doesn't say, is it going to be 5v5? Are we going to have... Are they going to finally put my 1v1 in the game? Um, I... I would love that, um, and I, I would take full credit for that because of my tournament series if they did that. But I, I'm curious because uh, if we're doing a you know a, ter a individual territory war, how are we going to do that with squads of five? Um, to me, the the only way I can see that feasibly happening is if we're going to decrease how many units we're using, and that could really make a lot of characters interesting fast. That could really shake up what's important to farm, especially depending on what the rewards are going to be. And I hope they would do it similar to Territories, because one thing I like about the Territory Wars reward system is while, I mean, for guilds that go ham on Territory Wars and win all the time, you know, when I feel like they probably deserve more. But for the guilds that get close and, and lose, um, I like that the drop-off isn't significant. You still, like, for the 
higher end guilds, three Zetas versus two Zetas. You know, at least you get two Zetas still. It's not like a huge difference. And so I hope this would be similar to where it's not completely demoralizing if you lose. It's not like a winner take all kind of thing. You still, just for participating, you're gonna get good rewards. So that's very interesting. Um, the payout thing, uh, you know, apprehensive about that uh, a little bit. What's it gonna do to shard chats? Um, that's pretty significant though. This is, this is a big win for a lot of people who are locked in a payout time that just doesn't work for them. And so, um, again, I'm not sure. I don't think it said here how we're going to change it. And so that could really change how plausible this is to many people. Cause I know that a lot of us, the last thing we want to do is change our time zone. They, they just to help. We've introduced the ability to change payouts two times a year. It doesn't say how though. Um, so <laughs> watch out all you in Alaska and That was a funny bit. The KOTOR companions, That's this is what I'm the most apprehensive about. Because we just had a lot of KOTOR focus that led us to this climax of Jedi Knight Revan. I, I feel confident based on the way they phrase the, the wording and the event that we're going to have Darth Revan at some point. But please, not yet. Uh, we, we just did this. Um, this huge paywall character. I know a lot of people ended up buying Revan. But to me, even though it was my own, it was donation money that I bought it with, just, just seeing going through that process i was like oh this this hurts my heart spending this much money on this character and i would only assume that darth revan's probably gonna cost the same amount and so i'd, I'd like a little bit of time for this to bake before we jump into that again and I, I would say if those kotor companions end up being five dark side characters you can almost write it down that we're gonna have a revan 2.0 um excited about the original trilogy stuff and really uh, last year i think we got a full zeta for the third anniversary of swaga and so uh, i dare you capital games to do better this time than a single zeta what are your thoughts of the road ahead that we finally got halfway through the fiscal quarter let me know down in the comments below and as always my brothers don't forget my dead body sorry about the mess